This video is sponsored by Sakura Co. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the rest of my collection that I showed you from the last video. In the last video, I showed you guys everything that I have out on display, but today I'm actually going to be showing you everything that I actually have in my storage. This does not include every single Sonic related piece that I own, but it does include quite a bit of it, a lot of it in my closet. I'm also going to be showing you guys some really cool items that Paramount sent me to celebrate the Sonic 2 movie. But before we get started, let's talk about Sakura Co. Sakura Co. is a monthly Japanese subscription box full of authentic traditional Japanese snacks from Japan's local artisan snack makers. Sakura Co.'s mission is to share Japanese culture to the world through the medium of snacking. In your Sakura Co. box, you can expect traditional Japanese snacks like teas, cake, and mochi. And don't worry, they provide a booklet inside the box explaining every snack, including all of its ingredients. There's also a lot of informative Japanese culture that you can learn inside the booklet. We're going to be opening up one of these boxes, but stay tuned to the end of the video for a really big announcement. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with my Sonic Adventure Big the Cat toy in the box, as well as a Tails Sonic Adventure toy in the box. I'm going to go through some of my plushies that I have. So I've got this old Sonic Boom Talking Sonic, a 25th anniversary Tails, and a Dark Chow. We've got an old Werehog plushie, a Chaos plushie, and a Silver the Hedgehog. We also have this super old Shadow the Hedgehog that I got when I was a kid. I won him at King's Island. A little cream, a little Sonic, and a little Tails. We also have the Baby Sonic keychain. We have a Shadow the Hedgehog ROM hack on the Genesis, a button that I got at Sonic Revolution, another Tails plushie, and the 25th anniversary bag that you could get at the anniversary party. We also have another ROM hack, I have quite a bit of those, of Sonic 1 on the NES, a MUME sticker, and a couple more pieces that I picked up at Sonic Revolution, including a button, and sticker, and a keychain. We also have another Sonic Adventure <laughs> Tails toy, and a Sonic X Tails toy, although the tails are missing, this was my childhood one. We also have, uh, strangely enough, another ROM hack. This one is Sonic EXE. I know, kind of weird. I got it, my boss gave it to me when I used to work at this video game store. A little Shadow the Hedgehog keychain that I got in Japan, a little button from Joyopolis in Japan, and probably the weirdest thing that I own, a officially branded Sonic Forces fidget spinner. It's a real thing, and yeah, here it is. It's super strange. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the stuff that I received from Paramount. Paramount sent this to me uh, within the last few weeks to celebrate the Sonic 2 movie and as a thank you, which I really, really do appreciate. I love everything here. I've already used the sweater and the shirt. I received two different packages, one with all of the larger items and the second package with a bunch of different posters. Here's the little thank you note that they gave me in the larger package, which I very much appreciate and I have hung up in my living room. I'm also going to show off some of the other posters. This one I finally did get framed. This is my favorite poster, the one with Sonic Tails and Knuckles. And here in my foyer, I have this little one with uh, Sonic on the snowboard. Also in my foyer, I have this really wonderful frame filled with different memories. A lot of them are different drawings that either Dorian drew for me or different people. I wanted to put it here together to celebrate all of the different things that I've gone through. All right, now we're gonna go back into my storage with some more 25th anniversary merch with this really large keychain, a Sonic movie paddle ball, and another 25th anniversary. This was actually from Joyopolis and it had a bunch of candy inside of it. Here I'm showing you different little toys that I got from a series of Sonic bath bombs that used to be a thing. Unfortunately, I did not get Sonic or Knuckles. I got one Amy, two Tails, and a Shadow. Here is my little Sonic Santa plushie that I also got from Joyopolis when I visited Japan. I know this is not Sonic related, but I do also have this little Splatoon light that I got at Jaipo back when there was a Splatoon 2 concert. Here I'm just showing you all of the different colors that you can change it to. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the posters that I have in storage, including this original Sonic Mania poster that I picked up at XSSW. We've got this Sonic Forces poster that I received back at E3 while they were promoting Sonic Forces, and we also have this Sonic Boom Season 2 poster. Very unrelated, but I also got a Sonic Forces pillow with a pre-order of Sonic Forces in Japan. This is one of my more personal pieces in my own collection. 
Uh, while he's not really in storage, he's also not on display. This is my original childhood, Tails. He was my absolute best friend, he still is. I made him a little friendship bracelet, which you can kind of see there on his arm. I got him when I was very young and I took him absolutely everywhere, which is why his eyes and his overall flush is in terrible condition. But regardless of his condition, I still love him very much and I will treasure him always. I'm gonna go ahead and continue showing off different things that I have, including this really cute infinite poster, a BBFA3 postcard, a Sonic Build-A-Bear postcard, a drawing that Dorian made for me when we went to Fan Jam, and a bunch of just different little things that I picked up along the way. Uh, there's that little Sonic piece with Sonic and Chris that a friend gave to me. We also have a Sonic Boom folder here that a friend uh, sent to me from Japan. We also have a little drawing that my old friend Allie made for me of my OC with Sonic, which is super cute. We also have here a little MUME sticker with Tails. I also have this little collection book filled with some of the older comics. And here we have a Sonic and Tails art Christmas card. I actually printed these out while we were in the middle of making Sonic and Tails art during Christmas time, and I sent them out to a bunch of different people. I still have a decent amount of these hanging in my storage, just in case there comes a time when maybe I can give them out or give them to friends. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to some of my DVDs. We've got the Sonic movie DVD, the other Sonic movie DVD, and a Sonic X DVD. I love Sonic X, we have two collection DVDs right here with seasons one, two, and then three, and another original Sonic X DVD. We also have the beating Eggman Sonic X DVD, which was signed, and two of the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog DVDs. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up our Sakura Co box. First, I wanted to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for your continued support. We're getting very close to 70K subscribers on YouTube and I am incredibly ecstatic. Thank you guys so much. I am getting even closer to my 100K subscriber goal. I've always wanted to get the silver play button and because of you guys, that just might be possible. So thank you guys so much. I really, really do appreciate it. I'm incredibly excited to let you guys know that on June 23rd, I will be uploading a brand new song. This is a project that I've been hinting at for quite a while now and have even talked about previously in some of my other videos. On June 23rd, you guys can expect a really, really cool collaboration between me and Johnny Giuelli. Please stay tuned within the next upcoming weeks for a teaser that will be going up on Twitter. This large project will be featuring a lot of different really talented artists, including myself, Sky Rocket, Trey Nobles, Joshua Typel, Sonic Music Session, Dorian Nelson, Mighty Sen, Chrono Crump, and The Hut. All of them are incredibly talented, I've worked with all of them before, and we have a really, really big treat for everybody. It was also just recently announced that I will be attending Sonic and Sega Fan Jam this year, along with Ryan Drummond, and we will be hosting a Sonic and Tails R panel featuring me, Ryan, Dorian Nelson, and Trey Nobles, and potentially more. If you guys are interested in learning more about Sonic and Tails R, along with some really fun surprises, then you guys should definitely come to Sonic and Sega Fan Gem this year. We would be absolutely honored to meet you guys, and we will also be bringing Sonic and Tails R posters to sell and to sign. After our big June 23rd project, please stay tuned for a bunch of other songs. I have a lot of music coming out really, really soon, and I'm so excited for you guys to get a chance to finally hear it. Thank you guys again for your much needed patience. I love you guys so much, and thank you again for supporting. That just about wraps it up. Thank you guys so much again, and have a great day.